And what's up, guys and girls? JBJ Spell here, back with another episode of Mountain Blade Warband. Mountain Blade Warband Vikings Conquest. I've done lots, and I haven't recorded, and I was doing this while not recording, and I now have a decent sized army, and we're going to, I figured I'd record this, because we're taking a big step here, and I'm going to begin starting a war with Wessex by attacking these traders, and <laughs> it's bold of me because my army is very small, but we're going to try it, and we're going to try to move into Wessex and take over a town and defend the town and, and maybe expand there. So let's attack the traders. It's very unethical of me, but um, yeah, first hand over all your goods and money. Did he do it? Never. Okay, so we're going to attack them. There's 38 of them. There's 40 of us, just so you guys know, this is my army. And I'm very well equipped right now. Oh yeah, so we got them on the ambush. I'm riding a pony, because I can't afford a full-blown horse. And my two-hand weapon doesn't work on it, so that's kind of an issue, but... Yeah, these guys are toast. I got some really good guys on my team here. Oh, wow. You guys are a little better than I thought. We have the uphill, upper, uphill advantage. Back away. I have a bow now too, which I can do this. I can actually hit some of them. <laughs> I got them in the back. An additional five damage. You're stuck on a rock. Hello. <laughs> Die. Yeah, he's getting toast. There goes his head, his skulls, and this is why you have a bow for runners. This guy will get him anyways, whether he's running or not. And kill this guy. And you're dead already. So who's left? We have a runner somewhere? Yep. Stuck on the hill. <laughs> Look at me hit him. I hit him with every single one of those. How is he not dead? Oh. Uh, <laughs> one of the guy just walks up and toast. So, it looks like we're going to get some silk or something here. My prisoner thing's maxed. But what I can do, and what I suggest anybody who plays Mountain Blade, is always switch um, uh, your prisoners around because some prisoners are worth much more than others. Um, Caravan Master might be worth something, I don't really know. Spearman. Yeah. Footpad, I'll switch those with Spearman or something. I'm thinking. I don't know what the priests, is, priests are worth. We're gonna go with that. And share loot as is common. Look at this, we got some amber, some ivory, some furs, and of course, some cloth. Look at the salt. Oh yeah, we are golden. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of a wheat and a bread just because we can sell these. Actually, I'll keep one and sell the rest. There we go. Did anyone else level up? I leveled up. One thing I'm going to start doing is I'm increasing my inventory capacity so I can hold more. I just find that's helpful. There we go. I increase those. And now, if I'm correct, Wessex hates me. Hopefully nobody else hates me. And, um, I guess we'll kind of find out, should I? I'm gonna go up here, attack these renegades. I just gotta be careful I don't run into Wessex soldiers. I'm gonna show you guys what Ragnar Lothbrook's capable of. I may have an army, or a bunch of guys, but... I can solo these guys. I ride my pony into battle, slow the pony down, get off the pony, and I prepare for battle. Alright. Oh, oh. Jeez, Louise. I'm gonna use some one handed though, just because. Oh, these guys are pretty quick. There we go. That, no, that my guys are pretty close. 
Oh gosh. I'll give him a little kickback and then I'll go in for the kill. Slow motion fighting. Oh, <laughs> the frames per second is dropping like crazy. That's what it is, slow-mo fighting. It's actually making me nauseous. Slow motion arrow pullback and slow motion. Oh my gosh. And here's a note, since I leveled up in the last one, um, I increased my inventory management, so I was worried that after killing these guys I would have to get rid of some of my good inventories from killing the traders, but it automatically increased my space, so that's a good thing to remember. Just doing a little tax collection for a guy here, um, because I'm worried Wessex is now going to attack me, so I'm trying to make some allies. Um, I, I'm not going to be capable of taking a base just yet. <laughs> so the tax people, sorry not the tax people, but the people I'm collecting the tax from, the peasants are attacking me now. <laughs> They're not happy. But I had to do it, I promised them I'd do it because they weren't paying. So, and that, that's where the real money is in the game is, uh, I mean yes, killing people you make a crap load of money too, and tournaments and such, but once you start owning cities and towns, uh, and you make them happy, you can, you can make a killing in taxes. Um, that's where the real money is in the game. So once you get to that point, it's uh, it's pretty easy. So you can see here I'm collecting all this. You can actually collect this and run away. I've done it. Um, however, next time, if I fill the quest, the guy will basically kill me because he'll be so unsatisfied that I stole thousands of dollars or Peningas. Um, oh gosh, I think that's Wessex. I hope not. But as you can see here, these are taxes. If I own Tompton, or Tom, yeah, Tompton. Uh, if I own this city, I'd be collecting these taxes um, over, you know, a decent amount of time. It's a lot of money. Um, so if you can, if you can get a town, hold the town. All right. So my relationship with Tompton uh, deteriorate, deteriorated when I did that, but I now I think it was this guy who gave me the quest. Let me see. Yes, it was the, the task he gave me. I'm gonna give him all of them. That was eight thousand some paningas. So he's giving me one fifth, and uh, yeah, so he gave me that. Yes, there's something. Okay, bandits. Okay, good. So I'm gonna get on this guy's, uh, you know, good side, and then the kingdom of uh, Mercy, uh, or Mercia, Mercy. I don't yes. Anyways, we're gonna hope hope that these guys are in a battle with Wessex. If I team up with them, then I can take a town in Wessex, and then row from there. Alright guys, so I, I just came across these random people. I have 455 troops. <laughs> Look at this spawn. It has like infinite troops spawning. And this isn't, these aren't my troops. This was just somebody um, who happened to be going for the same people I was. So in this case, I'm just going to get a nice little camera shot. Oh yeah. Ideally, I would like to have a sea of troops like this. So these are half my troops. Or sorry. Let's say 40 of them are mine, the rest are all um, one of the, the lieutenants of, of uh, I believe, the Green City or the Green Faction. So, depending on how many you set up, you can have on screen at a time, you can have that many. So, I don't know if I have the full 500 on here. It looks like a lot of guys, so there could be 400 and some. I think there's still people spawning. <laughs> but this is... I'm gonna, I'm gonna punch some. <laughs> punch! Oh crap. <laughs> punch you. <laughs> eh. Do battle! Oh my gosh, there's so many. Look at them, it's like a sea. And I'm sure there's there would be more spawning too on the other side, but there's lots of code issues in this. I mean, it doesn't do anything, but it comes up. It's weird. Victory is ours. Ah, yes. I got a veteran, upgrade the spearmen. Camp women are now going to be camp followers, which is maybe going to be a little bit more powerful. Here's a little tip, guys. If you're looking to find the robber's den, which is the mission I'm on, 
what you do is you follow the robbers, and nine times out of ten they'll lead you to them. I could click them and I could I could attack them, but uh, I'm kind of using them to to find where I need to go. Oh, patrolling around robbers' den. So obviously the robbers' den is right around here. Hence, it says patrolling around robbers' den. So where is that? It's got to be like right around here. Wow, this is actually the second faction that's been completely eliminated. So all this is going on, the AI is actually working um, while you're doing your things. So two full factions have been completely destroyed, which is pretty interesting. Oh, what's this? You become a berserker. When you go berserk, you gain great speed and strength in the heat of battle. But this brutal ferocity turns your vision red. Use key T to increase your power strike. That's really interesting. All right, guys. This is this. These guys have twice the troops I have. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start in a holding position and try to take high ground. It's the well, one of the main ways to to get a bit of an advantage when you're dealing with such a large amount. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set my guys up here. It's not the best hill, but it is a hill. Get off my horse or pony. <laughs> Literally a pony. Uh, the only issue is these trees. I don't know if the arrows will get stuck. I need better range units too. Um, there, there's a lot of these guys coming at me, so this is going to be crazy because they have twice the troops we do. So I'm just going to shoot them. Just taking some down here. And then it's like, it's like picking freaking shooting fish in a barrel. I think that's actually a hard thing to do. They did it on Mythbusters or something. Alright, they gotta aim for the head. Yeah, see, these guys are pretty weak. They have twice the numbers we do. So, when you're in a situation like this, you can see I have all my guys lined up. They'll take them down. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get them to charge. So the archers will stay in position and do what they were doing. How do I get my... Oh, frustrating, there we go. You die. Alright boys, let's do this. Yeah, let's get back. <laughs> yeah. My guys, they're, they're, my guys are, are much more elite. How did I get my bow on? I didn't want that. Whatever. <laughs> Got an arrow in the knee. What's this guy? Oh gosh. I don't think I'm gonna get him. And I can't get my horse or my pony. Wait for it, guys. This is skill right here. Oh, I hit him! Oh my gosh, I hit him! Didn't kill him, and now I'm lagging. Dang it. Wow, so that was pretty easy. My casualties, none. Killed 36 of their seriously wounded 197 were routed. 62 ruffians, and we absolutely destroyed them. Still have not been able to sell my slaves. And this is crap loot, but I guess with with the uh, quantity, it'll add up to probably six to 800 peningas. Depends how much I can hold to, right? All right, guys. So I found the robbers. Then I'm gonna be able to take it out and and you know kind of gain some fame. Gonna sell some things first, ideally my slaves. All right guys, we're attacking. Uh, a quick little note too is the people that come um, to help you when you're doing like, let's say a bandit attack or, or some sort of instance, it's the top people on your list. So if you didn't know that and you thought it was random, well it's not, so I always put the best warriors I have on the top of my list. For instance, this guy here is over a thousand Peningas alone, um, but he is for, for great reason because he's very, very good. And it's, it makes a world of a difference if you have the right people and you're doing these versus, you know, let's just say, you know, uh, normal recruits from a town, it's not nearly as effective. You're going to see me drop people like crazy here just because, well, my people are, are much more powerful than, than just normal recruits from towns. <laughs> that guy, no chance. So this guy's throwing spears, and yeah, they'll, they'll kill them. Watch how fast this guy dies. He's gonna die so quick, yeah. So, uh, that was Reginard. So I do have some of my followers, but my, even my followers are not the best. 
Um, so sometimes I put a slave, or, a slave chief on. Um, he's got a really good ability to do uh, power strike damage. Look at this. I'm just using my range to kind of level it up, practice a bit. Clearly I need practice. There we go. He's not dead yet. Now he is. <laughs> and more spawn. Gotta go for a headshot on this guy. Oh, I want the headshot. Oh, they're toast. Alright, I'm gonna watch this battle. Watch how quick they die. Okay, boom, boom, boom. <laughs> and you know what's funny? Those are my two followers. Those aren't even my friggin' skirmishers, like the guys with the crossbows. Wait, I gotta pick off this guy here. Oh. Maybe I won't. Let's. Come on, he's still just hit him. <laughs> I hit him. Yes, that was so satisfying. Ah, now they're spawning behind. No, that's my guy. Oh, they probably have guys up top. Yeah. You, my friend, are no lord. Okay. Keep the shield on. Level up my one hand bit here. Oh, I almost hit my saber chief. Oh, he just crushed him. What does he have as a weapon? Oh, it's an axe. Okay, I'm gonna save myself the walk, and I'm just gonna do this. Oh, the chief got in the way. Plus, I suck at shooting. Yep, chief's got to him. It's game, game over. And let's watch the chief do what he does best. And that's how he does it. He just crushes, absolutely destroys them. There we go, guys. The last person was killed by my Aquitanian Skirmisher, which is one hell of a warrior. So there is loot. There's going to be loot from this. But the main reason I wanted to take out the Bandit Lair was because it was a quest from somebody I'm trying to win over and place myself with as kind of a faction. And from there, from from getting control or, or taking a faction and, you know, deciding where I want to go, I will be able to eventually branch off and, and, and uh, you know, once I have a hundred plus people, I will be able to take over one of the Wessex buildings or whatever. Is this guy? Yeah, that's not the guy I need. The guy I need is the king, I think, of this town. But she might not be in. Let's see if he's in the Lord's Hall. That looks like him right there. That is him. Boom! Just like that. Went from 11 to 25. So that's 14 added to that. I got 3,000 experience. Alright, so do you have any tasks for me? Nothing right now. Well, I've come to know you. So now I'm able to recruit in his land. What do you have in mind? I'll give you blah blah blah. I'm going to give him a thousand Peningas. So now my relation with Tomtom has improved. Still no task, but I'm gonna follow up with this guy. We're now 25 relation. If I keep, if I keep uh, pestering him, if you will, we'll become best friends, and then we'll be able to take Wessex together. There's still no broker. I want to. I need a broker to, to sell my slaves to. Anyhow, guys, I can now recruit some of these guys here. I can ask for potential recruits. So they're not gonna be uh, just villagers. They're actually gonna be decent now. And I'm gonna work on building my army and then position myself better with this town, Tompton. And then um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna take a town very soon. So like it if you like it, dislike it, dislike it. And I'll see you guys and girls in the next episode. Thanks for watching.